Welcome to Dell EMC Connectrix Brocade Series How to Videos. How to change fabric ID for Brocade B Series switches. Reference Dell EMC Knowledge Base Article Number 530887. This video was created to demonstrate how to change fabric ID for Brocade B Series switches. Consider changing the fabric ID when NISL is segmented, due to fabric ID conflict, thus, preventing the switch to merge with existing fabric. Changing the fabric ID will be disruptive to FC traffic as switch needs to be disabled, hence, schedule a maintenance window to perform the same. If any switch management software like CMCNE is used to manage the switches, then switch needs to be rediscovered after FID change. This video presents the following. The fabric ID indicates in which fabric the logical switch participates. By changing the fabric ID we move the logical switch from one fabric to another. Changing the fabric ID requires permission for chassis management operations. Note. If you are in the context of the logical switch with the fabric ID you want to change, you are automatically logged out when the fabric ID changes. Please re-log in or open a duplicate session. In this demo, we have an existing switch, EDDCX8510-4B, with 64 port, 16 GBPS port blade in slot 7. Here is the port numbering, for reference. We are going to add, a new switch, MP7840, to existing switch. Using E ports 0 and 8 from MP7840 switch, and ports 60 and 61 of slot 7 from DCX8510 for B. Run ISL show on new switch. We can notice that, ISL is segmented with the error. Incompatible. Check switch show. E ports are segmented with the error, fabric ID mismatch. Port indices 188 and 189 represent slot 7, ports 60 and 61 respectively, on peer switch. Run lscfg-show on DCX switch. We can see that these ports belong to logical switch, with FID 100. And the same error against these, E ports. Tracing the WWN of switch, we can confirm that DCX switch with FID 100, is sharing an ISL with MP7840, FID 128. The ISL is segmented due to fabric ID conflict, thus, preventing new switch to merge with existing fabric. In order to resolve this conflict, we are going to change the fabric ID. Enter the lscfg command to change the fabric ID of a logical switch. lscfg-change, current fabric ID, which is 128, hyphen, new FID, 100. Enter Y at the prompt. This will disable the switch and we are automatically logged out when fabric ID changes. This is because we were in the context of the logical switch with FID 128 which we attempted to change, to new FID 100. Re-log into the switch CLI. We can see that fabric ID is now changed. Enable the logical switch. FOSEXEC hyphen hyphen FID 100, which is the new FID, hyphen CMD. Switch enable. Now, run ISL show. And then, run switch show. Similarly, run ISL show, and fabric show, on peer switch. New switch is successfully merged with existing DCX switch. Important notes. By default, FID check is enabled. If the fabric detects FID conflict, it disables the e-port with a fabric ID conflict message. 
There is another alternate workaround. If FID check is disabled, the fabric ignores the fabric identifier conflict with the neighboring switch during fabric formation. You can follow these commands to disable FID check. Refer to the following for more information. Thank you for watching.